Today we are going to make a church flyer design using Adobe Photoshop. So if you are old here, thanks and if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. Without any further ado, let's get started. So here I have 4x4 four four inches or you can use 1080 by 1080 resolution because this design is for social media posts. So the first thing now, then go to your test document and I'm going to copy this color code over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your solid color. Right click here and paste it or you can use your keyboard Ctrl plus B to paste. Okay, now the next thing we are going to do, I'm going to copy this one over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool you can use t on the keyboard to select your test tool or you come over here to select the test tool all right now click here anywhere in the design area and we are going to paste it now then use ctrl plus b to paste and i'm going to change the fonts here to big big deal now scale it out to make it more bigger something like this all right so having done this one then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then drag it down to bring it over here and now we are going to copy this one Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test to highlight it, Ctrl plus A to highlight, then Ctrl plus B to paste. Now we are going to reduce the size of this one. Then position it like this. You can use your arrow key then to arrange it properly as you want it to be. Now I'm going to select the two, hold your shift key while you select it and over here I'm going to reduce it a little bit like this for now. Alright, so having done this one, the next thing then we are going to do, we are going to back to our background over here and import the resource file we are going to use for the background. So now the first thing I'm going to import this one over here. Okay, so now we are going to drag this one up, position it over here, then scale it a little bit. All right, now after done this one, so the next thing, right click and rasterize it, go to image, then adjustment, and then desaturate it. Then we are going to our blending mode, then change it to add light. This is what you will have over here. Then apply your layer mask, then over here, select your gradient tool. You can also use brush, anyone you want. Now we are going to blend the bottom over here this way. All right. Cut this background image over here. So click on it and drag it over here. Then also take it up. Now bring it down to this position. And we are going to, to our blending mode and change this one to soft light like this. So then after right rasterize it, then go to image adjustment and desaturate it so that it will be black and then white now after this one then we are going to reduce the opacity to 29 percent then this is the outcome of it apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and we are going to blend it we're going to blend it Okay, so having bled it now, 
the next one we are going to do we are going back to our resource file and uh, we are going to import this worship image over here and we are going to reduce it this way then take it up to this position now bring it down and position it here then we are going to change the blending mode to soft light and the opacity we will reduce it to 38 percent then apply your layer mask select your brush or you can use any one gradient tool or brush now i'm going to reduce the size of this brush and i will clean up this area okay then come back to this image i'm going to apply blur to that image then go to your gaussian blur then increase it to around 8.4 is okay then you click ok then now we are going to proceed i'm going to bring this light over here position it at the top here now i will take it up around here then change the blending mode to screen and go to your filter select blur and then gaussian blur now we are going to blur it by 10.0% it's okay then you will have something like this okay then the next one we are going to do now we are going to grid a cycle select your ellipse tool then you draw a cycle like this then now i'm going to leave that one for now then i have another thing i'm going to bring this image then i'm going to turn off this one then bring this image over here then i'll turn it on then leave this image at this position now we are going to our blending mode to change it to soft light then apply layer mask select your gradient tool and we are going to blend the top here and the bottom over here so this is what we want from the background now around here all right then this cycle over here i'm going to drag it down then turn it on then go to your test document and i'm going to copy this color code over here then double click here and ctrl plus v to paste and after this one then go to your pizza select blur then gaussian blur and we are going to apply first then i'm going to use the number 66.8 then you click ok something like this all right so having done this one now then we are going to work on our test over here now then the test then go back to your test two and i'm going to copy this color code for the test now select this one select your test tool then come over here ctrl plus v to paste then select the second test ctrl plus v to paste so this is our color for the test now we are going to apply 
the layer style to it. Now, then select your bevel and the emboss. We are going to use inner bevel, chisel hard, then and follow this process here. And um, the size three percent, and you leave the rest. Go to inner glow, and uh, I'm going to use this color over here. And this is the color code. So having done this one now, then we are going to apply a drop shadow. So then make sure this place is normal and the size is 3, why the spread, I mean the distance 3, the spread 4 and the size, we are going to make it 13. Now click OK. Then right click to copy this layer style from here now we are going to right click here and paste the layer style so that it will also come here now select the two while holding your shift key then we are going to convert it to smart objects then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this image here now reduce the size this way and on this one then we are going to change the blending mode to hard light something like this and then we are going to create a clipping mask to it right click and then create a clipping mask then this is what it will give you then we are going to reduce the size of the image something like this is okay then use your arrow key then to arrange it the way you want it to be in so it's okay like this now the next one we are going to do now then we are going to our our test and we are going to copy this one over here Control plus c to copy then select your test to Control plus b to paste then position it around here Sorry, then, and this is the font we are going to use. So I'm going to copy it. Come over here, Control plus V to paste, and it will give me the font. Okay, now I'm going to increase the the font size this way okay then i'm going to apply a drop shadow then using the same effect then and reduce the size here to eight percent then you click ok to apply it all right so then the next one we are going to do now then i'll bring this image over here then I'll position it around here. Then you click OK to apply it. Now I'm going to apply filter blur, then Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to blur it by 16.6%. Then I'll click OK. Now then go to your blending mode and select linear dodge. Then this. Okay, then apply your layer mask and we are going to blend the edges over here just the edges a little all right do something like this okay then the next one we are going to 
the next one we are going to import this trumpet here reduce the size then position it around here and rotate it then I'm going to increase it something like this is okay then having done this one now then shift it over here something like this now I'm going to do this test over here then drag it up and I'm going to increase it this way then select the trumpet now we are going to apply hue and saturation go to effects adjustment you will see hue and saturation over here now we are going to move this one then down to this position so that the color will blend with this background here then i'm going to click ok so you can see the outcome over here now so after this one the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to import this image over here then right click and flip it horizontal then reduce the size and position it around here reduce the size this way it's okay this way it's okay then apply your layer mask and select your gradient tool over here and I'm going to blend this particular area this way it's okay now we are going to do the same thing to this image then convert it to smart object then go to your image and select adjustment then go to hue and saturation now this one we are going to reduce it to around minus 32 32 is okay then it blend with the background and everything here so after this one now then go back to your resource file and I'm going to then import this brush here so this is paper brush then I download it from free free peak and position it this way now having done this one then the next thing we are going to do now then we are going to create the date and time then select your rent angle to and from over here then you draw it like this is okay and we are going to apply a gradient overlay color so this is the color i'm going to use red and dark red so over here is dark red white here is also red but this one is not that red so this is the this is the position and this is the color code so you can copy it down and this one then this is the position and this is the color code so you can get it down now then click ok and then go to your property over here and unlink it select this one then i'm going to use around 52 percent by 52 percent then this is the outcome of it now the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to import this icon then reduce the size
then control plus u for q and saturation drag this one to apply then i'm going to copy this one control plus c to copy and select your test to control plus v to paste and the font we are going to use here is Alberta. then you select this one then we are going to make it bold then this one apply superscript then increase the size of the font then go back to your test and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste then bring this one over here and reduce the size Now select your rectangle, then you draw a line over here, then double click to apply, I'm going to apply a color from here, then click OK. Now go back to your resource and uh, import this icon, then reduce the size. Ctrl plus U and drag this one over here to change it to white color. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Drag it up and then I'm going to move it to this position. Then select your test to highlight it. Now we can use type the time. It then drag it over here and AM copy it, then come back here, control plus V to paste. Then we are going to reduce this one. Take your mouse here to reduce it, something like this is okay. Then I'm going to select this test. Hold your control key while you select the test here. Then and go to your color to apply normal white color to it. Now click OK to apply it. Then also we are going to do the same thing to Thanksgiving service. Then go back to this position and apply white color all right so the next one we are going to do now then is the location so then go back to your resource file and import the icon reduce the size drag it over here then copy the location name and select your test to control plus v to paste and the color we are going to use then select color from here to so anywhere you can select the color from around here now we are going to reduce the size of the font something like this is okay then the space they make it five
Then I'm going to group it together, select it, Ctrl plus G to group, then Ctrl plus A to select all. Now we are going to apply vertical alignment to centralize it, then Ctrl plus D to deselect all. You will see it over here, Ctrl plus D under select menu. Then the test here, I'm going to close that space there. Then five. All right. So that is it. The next one now then is our church logo. Then you reduce it. over here then we are going to zoom in then select we are going to select from here then select your test to control plus v to paste then apply left alignment now we are going to cut it from here like this then change the font color to white and apply center alignment then we are going to reduce the font size Then zoom out so that we will see it properly. Then something like this. Now select it while you use your mouse to drag it up. So let it be at this position. Do something like this. So now I'm going to adjust this time over here, increase the size. Also the date, then we are going to increase the size like this. All right, so the last thing we are going to do now then is the, the name then over here we are going to copy the name ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and come over here ctrl plus v to paste and we are going to break it here i like this one then go to your font and i'm going to make use of this color over here then click ok to apply it now reduce the size and position it around here so that is it guys if you like this video please kindly subscribe don't forget to share it and also i use fiber so if you want any of my graphic design please you can go to my fiber account the link is in the description and place your order there and also i use tubebuddy to optimize my video channel so if you want a tubebuddy account then you can go and create your account using the link in the description thank you so much guys don't forget to subscribe like and share i really appreciate your following